guys, so today I have swatches of the Zoya Petals Collection for spring 2016. There are six polishes here. Um, five are kind of meant to be worn on their own, and then this last one is more of a topper. I will show it on its own, and I'll show it over all the other colors as well. So yeah, these are available right now. I will link the website down below where you guys can check these out, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Leia, and this is a sheer, like, shimmery, color-shifting white. This is meant to be a top coat over other polishes to kind of change the look of them a little bit. I'm going to show it on its own, and then I will also show it over the other polishes in the collection. So here's one coat. This one is obviously sheer. It's meant to be sheer. Even on three coats, you don't get full coverage, but I actually ended up really liking the way it looked with three coats on its own. Formula is great on this one as well. So here's two coats. So like I said, this isn't going to be completely opaque even in three. The shimmers do get a little more dense as you layer it, but you'll always be able to see the nail line. But these are super, super micro shimmers, so they won't be difficult to remove at all. So here's three coats. So like I said, still sheer on the third coat. You can still see my nail line, but I do really, really like this on its own. I like the shift. And it does dry pretty shiny as well. So there is three coats of Leia. The next polish is Tulip, and this is this light kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's a little on the peachy side of what I consider a coral, but it probably would qualify as a coral color with a very light silver shimmer that runs throughout it. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer and just a little bit streaky on the first coat. Formula feels good though. It's not so thin that it wants to run down the sides of the nail. So here's two coats. This one is still a bit streaky and uneven on the second coat, so I'm going to do a third. That shimmer that's in there does stand out pretty well on the nail as well. So here's three coats. This one covers completely on three for the most part. There are still some slight streaks and darker spots where it's not completely even, and it does take some pretty careful application on the third coat to even get to that point. They're not super noticeable though, but they are there. So there is three coats of Tulip. And there is three coats of Tulip topped with one coat of Leia. The next polish is called Laurel, and this is a lighter pink with that same silver shimmer. And here it is next to Tulip, so you can see the difference. So here's one coat. This one covers a little bit better than Tulip did on the first coat, but it still has some streaks. Formula feels good though, not too thick or too thin, really easy to apply. So here's two coats. This one is starting to cover well, but it's still a bit streaky, so I'm going to do a third coat to try to even that out. And the shimmer does stand out nicely in this one also. So here's three coats. So this one does cover completely in three. If I look really closely, there might be some streaks, but it's not anything that I can see a foot away from my hand right now. And this actually dries pretty shiny as well. So there is three coats of Laurel. And there is three coats of Laurel topped with one coat of Leia. The next polish is called Zahara, and this is more of a peachy orange. It's still got a little bit of pink to it, but it's definitely more on the peachy side than Tulip was. This also has a much stronger silver shimmer to it. Here is it next to Tulip, so you can see the difference there. And then there is Tulip, Laurel, and Zahara all together. Really similar colors in this collection. So here is one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat, but it covers a lot more evenly than the last two did. Virtually no streaks at all. Great formula. And a much, much stronger shimmer that you can see. So here's two coats. I can still see my nail line a bit on the second coat, so I'm going to do a third. But this does cover very evenly. And it dries pretty shiny as well. So here's three coats. And this one does cover completely in three. I feel like it even gets a little more saturated on the third coat. So there is three coats of Zahara. And there is three coats of Zahara topped with one coat of Leia. So the next polish is Azalea, and this is a medium pink with that strong silver shimmer that Zahara had. So here's one coat. So this is a deeper color, so it does have better coverage than anything else I've seen in the collection so far. And it also has that stronger shimmer, which I think helps give it an e more even coverage. So here's two coats. So this one covers completely in two. I'm not sure if I mentioned the formula on this one, but it's 
pretty good. The formulas have been pretty consistent, um, just the application hasn't. Like they feel the same, but they're not all performing the same. So there is two coats of azalea. And there is two coats of azalea topped with one coat of Leia. And the last polish is called Aster, and this is kind of a periwinkle color. Everything is a periwinkle color to me this year. It's kind of right between that light blue and light purple. Maybe it leans a little bit more lilac. Anyway, it has that same strong shimmer that the last two have had. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. It's not terribly streaky. It does seem like it's pooling up a little bit on the sides of my nail, but not bad. Like, not bad enough for me to even be sure that's what I'm seeing. And the formula feels the same as just about all of the other ones. Pretty easy to apply. So here's two coats. This one covers almost completely on the second coat, but it's still a little bit uneven. I can just see some spots where it looks a little skin colored in between the polishes where it's not covered completely. So I'm gonna do a third. And this one also dries pretty shiny as well. So here's three coats. This one covers completely in three. It was really close in two. It just wasn't quite there for me. And again, pretty good formula on these ones. So there is three coats of Aster. And there is three coats of Aster with one coat of Leia on top. So Laurel is my favorite out of this one. I like the other ones. I'm not the biggest fan of corals. And there were like three, maybe three if you count this, two coral colors. And it just, I don't know, it was a really pink heavy collection for me. But I did like this one because it's closer to like that true bubblegum Barbie pink color. It's not there, but it's the closest out of the collection. So that makes it my favorite. And I do like the shimmer that's in here. I wish there had been at least one cream though. But that's okay. So Laurel is my favorite. So that is the Zoya Petals collection for spring 2016. Again, those are available right now. So I will link the website down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.